See you Tuesday. Give me up, Andy. Sorry. Mom being a bitch. <sighs> so what are you doing? Just watching the present become the past. I uh, see you sold your blood. Yeah, it's not the blood they pay for, it's the plasma. But I thought plasma was what the stars were made out of. Same name, different stuff. This is the fluid that all your blood cells float around in. Didn't we cover that in class? I must have been absent that day. What are you drinking? Bourbon whiskey. Let me have some. <coughs> That's fucking sick. <coughs> yep. Ugh. Ugh. I gotta get going. My mom thinks I'm already at Tim's. Do you have the stuff? Yeah, yeah, I see. Get the goods and go. Bottle rockets, Roman candles, and firecrackers. Thanks a lot, Mike. Just don't blow your hand off. And if you do, don't say where you got them from. I won't. See you later, Mike. You sure this will work? It's a simple experiment. When fusing nice of powder, the burning is contained. So heat and pressure just builds up and builds up until the tube ruptures and boom. We better not die, Yoko. You can stand behind me if you want. Why do we need gasoline? That shit in the movie is fake. A real explosion is just a shockwave of dust and debris. But if you want to see a real fireball, you need some sort of fuel. How do you know all this stuff? Science class. Yoakum's the master of disaster. <laughs> Get off! 
Russell. Let's get out of here. Hey, anybody naked in here? Just finished. The bad wiring straightened out and I replaced that burned up receptacle. All right, how much do I owe you? Hundred dollars, American. Christ. You got a real problem, my friend. This house needs foundation work. But pretty soon, the doors will start sticking, the walls are gonna crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the uh, roof leaks, the plumbing's old, and it needs a new coat of paint. Look, thanks for your concern, but I just hired you to fix that shit so I don't electrocute myself. All right, well, you just need to tend to these things if you want to do well when you flip the place. What makes you think I want to flip the place? Well, it doesn't look like you're planning on staying here very long. Look, not everybody buys a house so they can turn a profit, okay? This is my home. But you still gotta straighten things out around here. The place is gonna fall apart. Here's your money. Now you can leave unless you want to sit around and watch me eat dinner and jerk off. No, thank you. Why'd you guys let me buy this place? We have Mega Mike, 5,000. Sounded that bad. Fuck, you scared the shit out of me. Hey, what was that all about back there? Just not my favorite song. What's your name? I'm Mega Mike 5000. <laughs> Ashley. I gotta go. Where's your car at, Ashley? I gotta go. I don't drive. I'm gonna catch a cab. You can catch a cab anytime. How about we go back inside? I promise not to sing. You promise not to pull the knife out on me. And I'll buy you a drink. Or a glass of water. <laughs> All right. One drink. I couldn't afford tuition anymore, so I took a year off, and that was three years ago. But you got to get lost to find yourself, right? What kind of art did you make? Uh, do you make? I love the weather. The last painting I started was of thunder. You mean lightning? No, I mean thunder. What do you do, anyway? I teach high school science, but it's summer vacation, so right now I'm a PPD. Professional plasma dome. What qualifies you for that? 
My blood type is O negative. So, only 6% of the population has it, but everybody can receive it. I'm a universal donor. So, if I desperately needed blood, you could save me? Yep. Huh. I could save anybody. Huh. Well, doesn't it hurt? Feel it. Hmm. Well, it can't be as painful as waiting tables. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just play Iron Maiden? Yeah, like ten times in a row. We better get out of here. <laughs> God, why do you have this beard? School's out, so. I don't have to look respectable. I bet you have a nice face underneath all that hair. I shouldn't be doing this. You're a strange man. You want me to go? No. I leap before I look. Hey. I gotta go to work. Just, um, leave out the back door. When you're ready, unlock it. Hide this about the door. I'll call you sometime. Have you seen my keys? Thanks, hon. Hey, I'd make you breakfast, but I've got a 9 o'clock appointment scheduled this morning. I'm sorry. It's cool. I just want cereal. What you got planned for today? I don't know yet. All right, well, don't just hang around watching TV all day, okay? I won't. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Did you make a decision about the 4th of July yet? Can I trust you? Yes. Okay, I guess you can go. But I want you home by dark tonight so we can have dinner together, okay? All right, thanks, Mom. Okay, if you don't stop by the salon, give me a call later. All right. I love you. Love you too. Have a good one. You too. That's the reason they invented automatics. Look, you're the one that said only pussies can't drive a stick. I know. I just suck at this. 
I wasn't always a master either. It just takes practice. You gotta be tender with this car. It's almost as old as you and me combined. What's this little mileage counter for? No, oh, that's a triple odometer. You reset it before you start a journey. It tells you how far you go. So, where'd you go 682 miles ago? I haven't been anywhere. Last time I reset that was probably before I bought my house. You want to try this again? Not really. What's wrong with you, Andy? I don't know. I guess it's that girl that's been hanging out with us. Oh yeah, what's her name? Sandy? Cindy. I can't keep my mind off her. But shit would probably get weird if I told her anything. Fuck that. You gotta talk to her. If you get it out in the open, even if it doesn't work out, at least you'll know. If not, it's like holding in a big shit. It'll just make you sick. No, seriously though. You don't want to start collecting regrets over things you wish you'd done. It'll make you a bitter young man. I just gotta figure out exactly what to tell her. I met a girl the other night. Really? What's she like? She can make a brave man cowardly. So, are you wanna marry her or something? Nope. I'm just hoping she calls me back. Well, if she does, you better chop off that nasty beard thing. Look, you're just jealous because you can't even grow a dust dash. So where are we going? I don't know. Guess I'll see how far we go until you stall again. Yeah, no, I'm doing all right. Okay. All right, well, I just, I haven't had a chance to get to it yet. No, thanks. Thank you. Okay. Well, listen, I'm really busy right now. I'm, I'm working on my house, and I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. All right. She's not going to call, is she? Hey. You, uh, you need a ride home tonight? Maybe. Depends how I feel. Alright, let me know. I swear to God, Ashley, I'm going to quit this fucking place tonight. <laughs> you say that at least once a week. Yeah, well, so do you. Yeah, but how would we waste away our precious youth? Uh-huh. Who knows? What's up with Alan? He thinks if he drives me home alone, it's for me. Again. Oh, shut up. Hey, Ashley, there's someone waiting outside for you. What? Hi. 
Hey, Michael. Hey, Ashley. I'm sorry to just drop by, but I didn't get your number the other night, and uh, I wanted to get your number so I could call you and see what you're doing tonight. <laughs> it's okay, actually. I've been meaning to call you. You shaved. Yeah, I wanted to get your impression on my naked face. Looks good. Sexy. Well, you getting out of here soon? I mean, we could grab a couple drinks. Oh, I don't know about that. I've just had a couple of rough nights lately. But, um, you want to walk me home? It's real close. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> but to answer your question, yes. Uh, I'll get you home safe. Well, you want to come in and sit at the bar while I finish up? Sure. Hey, is Cindy there? It's Andy Yoakum. Hello? Hey, Cindy, it's Andy. Uh, hey. What's up? Where were you today? I was just learning how to drive. Oh, that's cool. Who's teaching you? Just a friend. He's a senior. Awesome. So, uh, what'd you end up doing? Oh, I was uh, hanging out with Doug and Gary, those two brothers. You know them? The Tiger Fags? <laughs> Now, come on, I think that the master of disaster would be into graffiti, too. All they do is spray paint their names and curse words and stuff. If I was gonna risk getting caught, I'd at least make it mean something. Like what? I don't know. Guess that's the reason I haven't done it yet. Oh, hey, Andy, I gotta go. My mom's calling me down for dinner. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry, I kinda went off there. It's just, you know, how I feel. Oh, that's cool, but uh, I'll see you guys sometime this week, huh? Yeah. Um, Cindy? Yeah? What are you eating? Um, <laughs> lasagna? Sounds good. All right, we'll see you later. <laughs> All right, bye. So you're Ashley's new guy. Why, is there an old guy I should worry about? No, I'm Lori. Michael. Nice to meet you. I just had to come say hello. And any guy Ashley sees has to undergo my inspection. So how am I doing? I think you passed, but she'll be done soon. Have fun. Who's that guy? Oh, he's just one of the cooks. Come on, let's go. Hi, guys. So, do you get along with your students? I get along with the students better than the burnt out faculty. Mm. I think they're all so cynical. It's like they forgot why they started teaching in the first place. What about you? You get along with the people you work with? Yeah. yeah they're fine. You know, most of them just don't have much to say. That's what I like about you. You talk a lot. And that's a virtue? Yeah. I mean, there's nothing worse than being with someone and having it go just completely silent and knowing it's, it's only because they have nothing worth saying in their head. Who's the most important person in the world? Your mother. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but I gotta admit, I was, I was pretty scared. Don't worry, I got you back. Ooh, easy now. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this random shit always happen to me? God. <sighs> it's an accidental world. Like, I was thinking how if you didn't hate the only song I ever sing at karaoke, we'd be complete strangers right now. Yeah, you're right. What do you have against Sam Cooke anyway? Mm, he just um, reminds me of an old boyfriend. What, did he break your heart? It was just a bad time. Yeah, well, you gotta get over that shit, because that man has some good music. I can make you a copy if you want. No, thank you. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> I'm racing! You're losing! Not for long! <laughs> Not tonight, Michael. Why not? I come quick, but I got a little dick. I, I still didn't get your number. Don't worry. I'll call you. Look, I know everything went fast the other night, but... We'll go on a day date this week, okay? All right. Well, I'll see you in the sunlight. about a minute once you're inside. All right, I'll see you at the Rust Castle. Just get back before Sandy questions me to death. Dude, that smoke fucking stinks. Hey. Hey. Ah, good job, Yoko. Couldn't have done without you. You stole that? We had to. Wouldn't sell it to us, even if I tried to buy it. Is this stuff any good? Better than whiskey. Can I taste it? Nah, uh, nah. -uh. That's part of our Fourth of July supply. Why? What are you guys doing? Going to my parents' cabin at Lake Lawrence. Hey. You should come. A bunch of people are gonna be there. And gonna be barbecuing and have fireworks and everything. That sounds all right. I mean, we're not doing anything here anyway. Then ask your parents. I will later. Well, I'm starving right now, so let's go drop this off at my house and eat something. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks.
<laughs> yeah, right. What, are you calling me a liar? No. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, get your camera ready. What? I'm about to break a record. <laughs> Impressive for an old man. New world's record. <laughs> I'll be here all week. God, this tree's amazing. You should work it into one of your paintings. You have a big giant tree being struck by thunder. I don't know. I haven't been feeling very inspired lately. I'll be your muse. Tell me all your problems. I don't know, you know, it just, the spark just comes and goes like the tide. Sometimes, just gotta do shit, even mm. if you feel constipated. <laughs> it doesn't work like that for me. If I don't feel real passion for something, it's just useless to try and fake it. Yeah, that's like me and my house. I've been there for months and it's barely livable. I mm. just can't really get excited about unpacking. I want to come see it sometime. What are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm having dinner with my family. Actually, we better leave soon if you want to go back to my place and fuck. Uh. What you doing? Taking a break. I've got about 30 minutes to my next appointment. Is it cool if we eat dinner at Tim's tonight? I might be a little late, you know. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Well, thanks, Mom. All right. Have a good one. You should teach a class about how love is just genetic design. I'm serious. They barely like us getting into evolution around here, much less love. But what's your theory? Just that there's no mystery to love if you look at it scientifically. Pheromones and physical attraction trigger chemicals in the brain that produce emotions and sensations. Can even be faked with drugs. So it's all just to promote mating and ensure the survival of the species. Yeah. I don't believe all that. I mean, I might see a girl and want to mate with her for some genetically programmed reason, but to actually care about somebody and put up with their shit, that goes far beyond what DNA or common sense dictate. And besides, I definitely don't like you because of the way you smell. can be held. Guess I'll have to leap before I look. Oh, herpes, stop it! <clears throat> Why is your cat named Herpes? Well, because I got him the day I found out I had herpes. I have another cat named Gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you had me there. Mm. You got your pawns way too spread out. Remember, four middle squares are the most important on the board. Ah, uh, I hate playing black. You always want to move behind. Yeah, but you get to see what white's up to first. Get a glimpse of his strategy. So what about Cindy? You gonna make the first move, or you gonna play black? I got a plan, I think, something together. But this girl shit's so confusing sometimes. Sometimes it seems smarter just to skip it all. The drunken hard fool's even the sharpest mind. Who said that? How do you know I didn't say it? Because it doesn't involve shit. I don't know, some author. Give me a break. I'm not an English teacher. So did you do with your girl yet or what? Like I said, it was a really good day. She had me turning cartwheels. You gonna stop hanging out with me because of her? Yeah, right. And who am I gonna destroy at chess? Checkmate. Shit! Mercy, I am stuffed. Dinner was great, Mom, really. You're welcome, Ashley. You should come more often. I know, it's just, um, it's been really hectic lately with my schedule and everything. But how is work? You haven't said too much about it. The same. Um, I've been there for six months now, so it's not many surprises left. <laughs> but, mm. um, I should be able to start giving you guys some money soon. You don't have to do that, Ashley. I'd really rather see you take some classes this fall. <laughs> be pointless, Mom. And, and besides, I, I want to pay you back. Mom, can I play with Pikeleys? All right. Go ahead, Miles. I can come play with Pikeleys. Gotta help Mom clean the table first, Miles, okay? Okay. I can't believe you let him have that dog. You almost got everything you wanted. And he actually likes taking care of it. It's, it's too much responsibility for a five-year-old. You'll end up doing everything. I don't want to hear anything about responsibility from you. I'll get these. Go outside. Play with the dog. Pour me another, and pour yourself one too. All I'm saying though, is $500, two strippers? That's ridiculous. You know it. When the titties are large and abundant though, who cares? Man, when Rooney sees these holes, he's just gonna skip the skip away. Let me get three uh, cold slides, please. Get him in there. Get him in there. But man, does Rooney know all this shit you told us about, Chelsea? Listen, she's just a typical dog. She let anybody smash that. But like I said, the Rooney don't know, don't hurt Rooney. To Rooney. The good man. But man, she's gonna have him wrapped around her fingers for months. What about Wednesday nights? 
worry about it. Find a card player anywhere. Hey, Slick. You play Texas all of them? Nope. Well, look. We play a game on Wednesday night. $20 buy. You'll learn from me. Pretty much the best. Regal. No offense, buddy, but I'm just trying to be drinking here. Hey, what's your problem, man? I don't know if you noticed this, but this is a professional drinking establishment. And I think everybody here would appreciate it if you took your amateur ass to somewhere else next time. Hey, smoke bird, Liberace. Yeah, fuck you, man. No. Fuck you! Y'all see that? Rare fucking blood. Sorry, Will. What a crackpot. Fucking Gila douche. Professional psycho. Spend it all in one place, boys. Seven to five, getting sharper, yo. Days are numbered, man. Yeah, right. The only way you'll outshoot me is if I go blind. Oh boy, here comes 20 questions. Hey, guys. What's up, Sandy? Uh, so I hear you coming with us, huh? Yeah, my mom talked to your dad. She said it was okay. Cool. Should be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just want to let you know that, you know, they're playing soccer over at Greg Park. Don't want to go? That sounds all right. Shit. What time is it? Almost 10. Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta go. I probably won't see you guys till tomorrow. What are you doing? If I told you, you'd be an accomplice. Do you know what he's up to? Eh, uh, Yoakum's a weirdo. He just disappears some days. Says he's got secret shit to do, but he's probably jagging off. Thanks for helping me out. I'm sick of living in a house that looks like a big pile of human flesh. That's no problem. Uh, you get to pick what we eat, so what do you want? How about pizza? We never had that at home anymore. Didn't you tell your mom it has all the food groups? No, it's probably because it's my dad's favorite. You miss him? Your dad? Sometimes I want to go run away and look for him, but sometimes I hope he's dead. He could be an asshole. I had problems with my dad till the day he died. But it's like anything. 
You gotta pick the golden peanuts out of the shit pile. That's really gross. Yeah, it's a good sentiment. I don't get it. When everything seems bad, you gotta look for the good bits. Then move along. Don't dwell on the things you can't change. Yeah, I guess you can't be happy all the time. Life would be pretty boring. Michael, it's Ashley. <laughs> no, I was just, um, just got off work and um, I was wondering if you had plans for tonight. Not much, what you got? No, I haven't heard about it. Yeah, that sounds good. Where's it at? You want me to pick you up? Well, great. I'll see you then. Looks like you're gonna have to head out. I got a hot date. That's bullshit. What's wrong? I helped you out all day and now you're just running me off. Yeah, you gotta understand, that's the girl. Yeah, well I could've hung out with Cindy today but I decided to help you out your fucking house. Simmer down, man. It's not that big of a deal. Whatever. What, you leaving right now? Yeah, I gotta head out. Hey, Mom. Sorry, I'm late. It's just. Why are you smoking? I told you not to go in my room. Andy, I was picking up the dirty clothes off the floor. Mom, it, it's not a big deal, okay? You told me no more of this. But it's not like last time. We're going to the lake, and there's gonna be a bunch of parents there. You can't be doing this while you're still on probation. Mom. <laughs> Where did you even get these from, Andy? Tim's brother. You're, you're not going to Lake Lawrence. What? Because I'm stupid fireworks? No, because you lied to me after we had an agreement. Mom, please. You're not going, Andy. That's it. God damn it. Cotton candy for every meal. 
So why aren't you operating the Gravitron right now? Hmm. You know, I realized I'd get molested by the other carnies every night and end up an alcoholic. Hmm. Yeah, but you'd still get to eat all those Pronto Puffs. True. And I'm an alcoholic anyway. I'm gonna go pee out some of this wine. I'll be at the bar. I'll be right back. We should get together again sometime, Ash. Yeah, I've um, got your number at home. Hey, what's going on? Well, Michael, this is Luke. He's an old friend of mine. Come on, I'm not that old. Oh, we haven't seen each other in a while. Yeah, Ashley decided she uh, didn't like the bar we used to always hook up at. Maybe it wasn't the bar, Luke. Well, it was nice seeing you again, Ash. Yeah. Nice pants, Mike. Slime. Did you used to date that guy? You don't even know him, Michael. He's actually a really talented musician. This wine tastes like shit. I'm gonna go get some fresh air. What do you want to do now? Mm, I don't know. You want to get out of here? I know a pretty cool spot downtown. Yeah. I should probably go home. Tomorrow's gonna start early and end late. Uh, what? You don't want to come see the bachelor state? No, not tonight. You sure? Got exotic fish? Yeah. What's it gonna take to get you on my air mattress? Are we still talking about this? I'll take you home. You're the one I want to go out. Thanks for taking me out, Michael. I had a good time, really. Sorry I got weird there at the end. Don't sweat it. I'll call you in a couple of days. Yeah, I know the drill. Ashley. Sleep tight. Catching a cab, or is he coming to pick you up? What are you talking about? Who is it? Is that fuck from the gallery? No, Michael. So what, you going to a bar just to pick up a stranger? Oh, Michael, go home, please. Wait, why did you lie to me? Michael, I like you, but I'm not your girlfriend. Whatever, you could at least be honest. I see a lot of guys, okay? And 
Right now, I don't want a boyfriend. Yeah, but you'll fuck anybody new that comes along. You are a hard man. I'm just here to save lives. Yes, absolutely. Hey, can you meet me at the Rush Castle? It's important. Alright, cool. Sucks. There's nothing else you can say to her, huh? No. She's already told Tim's mom and dad, you know? I can't even sneak around with them and pretend like nothing happened. But I'm gonna be there. What do you mean? If I leave now, I can make the Lake Lawrence and be with y'all in time for the fourth. On your bike? Yeah. Then what are you gonna do? I don't know. I might come back. I might not. Andy, you can't just take off like that. I mean, they'd have people looking for you, and you'd be in so much trouble. I don't care. I've been looking forward to this all summer, and my son will be ruined if I don't care. No, it won't. I mean, you have a lot of time to do plenty of other stuff, but you would be grounded forever. Please think about it. You're probably right. You know, you're pretty cool, Cindy. Yeah, you're cool too. All right, say I don't go. We have to do something to get back. Okay, like what? I don't care. Anything. 
Just as long as it's you and me. And are you trying to ask me out? Yeah. Maybe she's a Mormon. What? Well, she wants to screw a lot of people. Isn't that what Mormons do? You're thinking of polygamy. That's when one guy's married to several women. Oh, I was just testing you. No, she's just a walking sperm bank. That's a little harsh. Yeah, well, she's got me feeling like I'm scattered across the pavement. It's pretty harsh, too. What about your Golden peanuts and shit pile. Never said you found them overnight. I talked to Cindy today. No shit. What'd she say? Well, I said she was cool and she said I was cool and I guess we got a date. Well, bravo, Andy. When are y'all going out? I don't really know. She's still going to lake with everybody, so. At least you got something. Got any advice from me? I don't think you should give up with your girl so easy. What the fuck should I do? I don't know. All I know is when my mom and dad fought, nothing ever got better until one of them gave in and apologized. I don't even know what I'd say. Well, neither did I. But with Cindy, I just said it before I could think myself out of it. Leave before you look, huh? Yeah, exactly. I'll try starting a sucker. Hey, Lori. Oh, hi, Michael. Are you looking for Ashley? Yeah, is she in today? I know she didn't show up for a shift today. What about that cook? Who? Never mind. If, if you see her, could you please tell her to call me? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell her. OK. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Nicer than most guys. You met him twice, Lori. Yeah, but I heard what you said about him. And I saw how much you wanted to talk to him.
Maybe I'll call for a couple of days. The little fucker just flipped me off. What are you saying? Nothing, just um, wondering who's gonna be at the party tonight. talent when you see it. Can I buy you a drink? Yes, please. Fucking married, having babies. You want to know a secret? My best friend and a 15 year old kid. Guess that means she don't want to take me home and fuck me. Another glass of the cheap shit. One cheap shit coming up. Come talk to me for a minute, sir. Yeah, I'm right here. Um, I'm afraid we're not going to let you donate today. Why? Your blood alcohol level's too high. What? You're still drunk, sir. Okay, please don't come here like this again. Have a good day. Mr. Paradito. Hello, Mr. Clark. I knew this was your car. That's what you've been doing. You, you look like shit. Just giving the gift of life every three days. I like to do that all the time. It's, yeah, it's just a little prick. Are you teaching summer school? Oh, sure, you know the routine. Suspend little heathens at the end of the regular school year, you get them back in summer school. Caught a couple of them fucking in the supply closet last week. You make me wish I was there right now. Oh, no, you're lucky you're gone. I'm about to start telling people I'm a zookeeper. So how's things with Kim? Uh, we finally separated. I'm living in a studio apartment, wasting my summer working to pay the mortgage in a house she gets to live in. At least I don't gotta walk the fucking dogs. Anyway, you left at the right time. The glory days of John Martin are over. Everybody you know is leaving. I gotta get myself a private school job somewhere before I kill one of those little bastards. You know, Roger, if you taught as well as you bitch, you'd be doing a hell of a job. 
<laughs> See you later. Nice seeing you, Mr. Perdido. Today? Yeah, probably. Everybody's gone till Monday. Well, I gotta get out of town. At least for the day. You wanna come with? Sure, I just gotta be back by dark. I can make it happen. Just get your shit together. We're going on a mission. Alright. Mom keeps asking me what I want to study in college. Kind of early for that. What do you tell her? Nothing. But what do you think I have to do to get a job making fireworks? Obviously, stick to the sciences. Focus on chemistry. What about just getting experience blowing shit up? <laughs> if you're not licensed and contracted, then you're just a mad bomber. But. I'll look into it for you. Wow. So that's it, huh? Yep. The geodesic dome. Strongest, lightest structure that can be made with the least materials. A marvel of modern engineering. What's this thing for? It was a real car repair facility until the company went belly up. That was before you were even born. Who made it? A guy named Buckminster Fuller is the one who came up with the idea. Buckminster? That's a crazy name. It's a pretty crazy guy. He was a suicidal alcoholic at age 32. He turned his life around and started inventing all this amazing futuristic shit. This might actually be cooler than going out to the lake. Yeah, I'm kind of glad all this happened. I've been wanting to show this to you for a while. Nothing like a little industrial spelunking to clear the mind of life's problems. What the fuck? <laughs> Don't move. Hold on. Just hold on. All right, it's gonna be all right, it's gonna be all right. Don't move, stay there. Stay there. Oh, shit. All right, just hold on, man, just hold on. Why is this train so fucking long? Come on, let's talk about something. What? Just ask me a question, anything. What's the coolest thing you ever learned? You mean about science? I don't give a shit, dude. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought you were gonna ask me some dirty sex question. Uh, I always liked the idea of conservation of matter. What's that one again? Come on. I know we talked about this in school. I must have been absent that day too. It's a simple physics law. Matter is never created nor destroyed. It just changes states. If you burn a solid, it might become a gas. Then it could get trapped in a cloud and rain down as a liquid. Eventually, It'll be part of something else again. So basically, everything lasts forever? Maybe not as we recognize it, but yeah. That sounds religious. Yeah, it kind of does. 
So why do they always fight about God and science? Give me hope, kid. Dr. Hare, ER. Dr. Hare, report to ER. Excuse me, did you bring in Andy Oakum? Yeah, I'm um, Michael Perdido. Dr. Parks, uh, are you a relative of Andy's? No, no, I, I'm a, a teacher of his. Uh, listen, if he needs a blood transfusion, I'm a universal donor. No, no, it's, it's okay. Uh, it looks like he lost a lot of blood back there. No, listen, he doesn't need your blood. He's broken his leg quite badly, but he's in stable condition right now. So is he gonna be okay? Yes, but it's gonna take some time. Th thanks for all your help. How exactly did this happen? I don't know. We were we were walking through this trail that I know in the woods, and some maniac left a live animal trap out in the middle of nowhere. What are you doing here? Mrs. Yoakum, listen, Andy's inside. I thought I told you to stay away from my son. Uh, Mrs. Yoakum? Hi, I'm Dr. Parks. Um, Andy's inside, if you'd just like to come with me. Yes. What do I have to do? Follow a restraining order against you?
fuck are you doing here? I'm not a teacher. Not anymore. I started inappropriately fraternizing with students outside of school. And a parent reported me. <laughs> and they treat me like I'm a pedophile. <laughs> you broke into my house to tell me that? Don't you understand? I mean... I didn't start selling my plasma so that I could save people. I don't give a fuck about those people. I started doing it so I wouldn't sit in my house and feel numb every day. So I could get money for booze. I just thought I'd tell you after everything I said about honesty. Could you please just stop talking? I just lost my best friend. Do you have any idea what that feels like? You don't know me. It's a little more difficult than hating your waitress job and juggling all the men you sleep with. How about smashing your car into a tree and leaving your boyfriend paralyzed? Or having a five-year-old who, who thinks that you're his big sister? Do you know what that feels like? You're not the only fucked up person in the world, you selfish prick. Sundogs. Science teacher doesn't know about sundogs? No. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell are sundogs, Thunder Painter? Mm. They are these brilliant flares that appear to the sides of the sun. Sometimes they, they look like fragments of rainbow just hanging in the sky. They happen when sunlight hits ice crystals in the Clouds just right. That sounds pretty neat. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. Hmm. Well, they're kind of rare, but you'll see them if you keep looking. to be born lucky better to know the way wake up every morning and know that it's your day it's better to be born lucky better to win every time all on the line Fast track mess up night All the charms I've left them all But I'm 
picture of Jesus that covers a crack in wall. born at all them living in this hole I'm in watching paint clear on the wall all the charms I've left my but a picture of Jesus that covers a crack in wall Get ready. 